Hello everyone, G.I. Chef here. Today we'll have a look at one of the best release of the year. That is on the GA2100 Carbon Core Casio Oak G-Shock watch. Before I begin, this video is sponsored by Buy.jp, a proxy shopping service website based in Japan. If you want to buy any new release G-Shock watches like this one before they release in your home country, like if you want to be the first one to get it, buy them directly from Japan. Use the link in the description box below. That way, they will know that I sent you guys them and this allow for more videos like this to be made in the future. Please guys, use the link in the description box. That really, really helps. And while at it, why not hit the like button, of course. We will have a look at this GA2100 TH to be exact, stands for throwback in the 90s, of course. And they call this the Winter Premium Series, exactly like the one on the 90s. Now came in Christmas color team and thus explain the green and red color accents and gold as well. So, um, obviously you can see where the placement are, but still I'm gonna highlight this a little bit. We'll have the dial hands over here in gold as well with black outline, so that's that's kind of nice. And all the wording on there uh, also came in gold, so you could see the detail. I'll add a close-up as always. And I'm very impressed with the intention to the details that Casio add in the making of this G-Shock watch, considering that it only costs you 100 bucks. The hands also came in gold accents as well, gloss finishing. And at the center, there's the loom sticker, which could glow in the dark, of course. Not as bright, but it will work. And I'm, I've been using this one, the GA2100 as well in all black. The loom on here is a little bit darker in tone, if you, you can see that, right? And still works just fine. This is my favorite uh, Beater G-Shock watch, way more than my high-end premium Golf Master series actually because of how comfortable. It's just much more comfortable because of this thinness. It is the thinnest G-Shock watch of the days. And I'm very sure that's one of the reasons why a lot of people like this G-Shock watch, whether you are a fan of G-Shock watch or not. Anyway, in this specific colorway, you also have a positive display in gold accents to match with the ones on the hour and the minutes hands. And of course, LED backlighting, which glows the entire uh, analog face and also the digital display, which is nice. Other little details that Casio add in the making of this watch is the buttons. The mid-size button now came in gold accents as well to match with the ones on the face. However, they didn't make the side screws in gold. It's just a silver stainless steel like the normal model But they do add more color on the watch band over here. This is just a decal with water resist and 20 bar wording The green tone match really well with the one on the bezel and on the index Which I gotta say looks beautiful and if you look on the watch band, it's just similar watch band like the previous GA2100 with those quick release spring bar down there well, not really quick, they are just easy release though. Um, but there's a trade-off, which is the buckle. Now came in plastic with Thailand sign at the bottom of it. So I guess this is where Casio cut the cost. I mean, they gave us gold buttons, a lot of colors on the watch face, and they didn't charge us extra. It's just around 100 bucks. So yeah, this is probably why the watch could be priced as so. Um, this watch, I don't think were made to be beaten up at all so that's why they use plastic over here me personally i don't think i'll beat the watch at all because i already have one as a beater this is more like a fun thing to have just to match with my outfits i like green i like red not so much on gold but since this is a i mean christmas color series why not you know have a little bit more colors in your life have a little bit more fun okay uh back to the back plates we'll have here a casio G8 2100th water resistant 20 bar and obviously carbon core guard structure which allow the watch to have a really thin construction even though it is states here case in Thailand keep in mind if you disassemble the watch you'll see that the movement in there was made in Japan so it doesn't really matter oh talking about that if you want to know how the watch was constructed I have done a video on that as well in depth so you, you can understand how the construction is from the insides just really really cool now moving on with the functions which is also really cool as well for the price for the constructions i mean this is just a great g-shock watch first of all i have to hit the light hold it press mode to move the hands out of the 
the way obviously so that I could show you the digital display. It is showing me time in digital and seconds because we didn't have any moving seconds hands in there and the day display are in analog. I could swap that to date display if I wanted to as well. Oh yeah, I have the timer running in the background so that's how it will beep. Let's have a look at it after this. We'll have a world time. So your local time will be displayed down here on the analog part and the digital will show you, you that uh, world time. So dual time at the same time. Next, you'll have a stopwatch to 24 hour range. It has one of 100 seconds precision and this is one of the main feature of the watch since I've been wearing this a lot as a beater, I end up using the stopwatch more than one of my phones. Somehow, you know, why not? Use it, just use it, okay? And other function that I often use is the timer on my G-Shock watch. I know the digital display is small, but I'm not sure about you guys. I have a great eyesight and even though I'm wearing the one in negative, I could pull it off. Now it came positive. Sure, no problem at all. I don't think I have any problem at all. You could set this timer up all the way to 24 hour range. So that could fit to most uh, activities. Lastly, alarm. Five of them with snooze and signal. And uh, I use signal a lot. Let me turn it on actually. Signal, all right. Turn it on by pressing the adjust button over here. Okay, done. Next, back to home timekeeping. And that's pretty much it. This watch aren't solar powered yet, but I'm sure because of how popular this watch is at the moment, I'm very sure. I have a feeling that Casio will create a solar powered version of this, but um, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. All you have to do is keep purchasing them, keep showing your support uh, that you like this watch and then I'm sure Cassie will answer to our request. For right now, uh, please hit the like button down in the down below and thank you very much for watching. This is oh, having a hard time here. Okay, this is GHF and I'm